Okay, this is for a couple of the guys who've asked a question. How did you remove your ignition barrel? Well, I used a T30 torque bit on the back of the steering wheel to remove the, undo these two bolts and you slide the airbag out. I can't, I cannot stress how careful you must be when you do this. Undo these two clips and then there's another one in the middle and that slides out, okay? And then you need 24 socket on the middle, set to undo. You might need a breaker bar. Oh, that was probably doing it the right way, look. And just undo. Okay. I've already had this off once and I realised I cut the clips were broken so I've got to get it off again. Okay. Being very, very careful. Getting it off takes time. Don't yank it. Leave the bolt on there because it might be stiff. So you might need to be very careful. There's a spring behind this. Okay, so you've got to be extremely careful. It just don't pop off, so hold it on with one hand. As you can see, I've got one hand on it. See, that's the spring work, you see? Once you've got that off, carefully remove. And it's the same way if you, want to, if you need to change your steering wheel, obviously, or your slip ring and stuff like that. Keep this all up like this, okay? And then pop these out. One, two. Then down the side of each side here, you'll see two like little clips. I'll show you. Bear with us. Okay, you got one little clip just here, and there's one on the other side as well just here okay so what we do then is you get your hands on them little bits and just slide this towards you being careful and then it'll be easier to undo underneath here I did a little screwdriver down this one there it is just to help remove the wiring from underneath. And that's it, that's that out. All right. I'll tell you what, this thick thing I've got, wor worst few quid I've spent because it's a pain in the backside. Okay, well I've already got the barrel out. But for the purpose of this video, I will put it back in just to show you. Okay, there you go. Is in. Okay. So once you've got this far, you put your key in, turn it to position one. Um, with anything you can find your hands on, there's a little hole here. Just poke in, and it pops out. It's fairly simple, you know. But if, for the guys that don't want to really do this. I mean, you can go on eBay, get another key, cheap, get it cut, to, and then you can cut it off right at the end here, put it in, and just leave it in position one. Just disconnect your ignition from the back here like this, so there's no, there's nothing on it. And then at least if you need to start the car, you know, fail, you just plug that back in, and away you go. No problems. That's it. Putting back together is a reversal. Uh, if you like this video, like it below. Give the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Either way, it's all good. Um, and yeah, subscribe to us. So I'm here to help you guys where I can. If I can. You never know. Alright, thank you.